Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Northampton 360. I'm here today with Scott Blair, the Chief Diversity Officer here at Northampton. Scott, welcome to the show. Um, Scott, a longtime basketball coach as well, so we've got you here for multiple reasons today to talk some hoops with us and also talk about your role here at the college. But kind of going back uh, for you, long tenure head coach up at ESF, up in Syracuse, some assistant coaching at the high school level, assistant coaching at the junior college level, some assistant coaching at the Division II level. Right. Um, so you bring a lot of experience in the world of basketball. Um, maybe go through that a little bit with us, talk about that, and then you and, I, you and I have had some discussions, maybe the differences, again, here at our level, at the NJCA level, some of the misconceptions that people have about the basketball right. played at this level. No, that's a great – Thank you, Troy, and it's, it's great to be here with you this, this afternoon. Um, one, it's been an interesting journey personally, and, and it's been great looking back um, in the 15-plus years that I've been blessed with being able to be on the sidelines both as a head coach and as an assistant um, at, at the various places I've been at. And, and a lot of that uh, comes down to, of, of course, some trust and folks being able to take uh, have, have some uh, trust in, in you being a part of their program, developing a program, um, in the case of, of ESF and being the head coach. But what I've learned throughout the way, um, whether it's JUCO, you know, um, USCAA, which is what ESF was, and even Division II, is just folks not realizing the opportunities you can have at those respective levels. And the opportunities are immense. So looking at JUCO, and again, what a student athlete can have here at Northampton, is one, a great opportunity to be coached by outstanding professionals in athletics, great coaches um, with, with immense experiences. And, and that support that they receive on the court is, is amazing because of those experiences. But then what we're all here to do when it comes to being on a college campus is, is help the student be successful in the classroom. And that's probably where most of the enjoyment, reflections of, of, of the time I've spent in college athletics really brings me back to that. Sure, the wins and losses, that's great. Um, the wins more than the losses, of course. Um, but it's, it's the graduation of our student athletes. And that's where being a part of a collegiate program is amazing. And again, at the JUCO level, such as Northampton, um, those opportunities for excellence. And then that leads to four-year opportunities. And who knows where you can go after that? Do you land at a D1, D2, and maybe you have an opportunity to play internationally, and now you have a four-year degree? or to go to a D3 school and again, shine locally through those opportunities as, as well. And, and that's where I think some of those misconceptions are and not realizing that you're gonna have those opportunities by being at a school such as Northampton. And one of the things that again, you and I have had a chance to talk offline a couple times, but you know, right now in your role as an assistant at, at NCA Division II Kutztown, um, you know, if you look and kind of compare and contrast the games, and you spent some time at Onondaga Community College, which is a very high-level Division Three junior college in men's basketball and women's, um, and here, what do you see in the similarities or the differences in the student-athlete and the, and the ability level? Because, you know, I, I think a lot of times, especially in the Valley, you, we get that, well, it's, it's just – junior college oh, right. and but you know and again right. I think when the kids come and watch and they see the level of a Jay Davis or they see the level of some of the student athletes we have here they're really blown away in what they see and experience right I think what you'll find that's that's similar again is the pace of play and that has the the gap there has has shrunk at, over time um, so that and that competition has also um, developed between institutions and I don't know um, at, at looking back at my time in Onondaga, for example, um, it didn't matter whether it was the top-ranked school in the region or the, one of the lower-ranked schools in the region. If you didn't bring your game, you had the opportunity mm -hmm. of being beat. So, so that's, that speaks highly of the level of competition. I know that's the, the case um, here in the Valley as well. Um, and some of the differences, I think, really just comes down to the fact that it's the JUCO dynamic versus a four-year school dynamic, and it's, it's, it's the students where you're working with first-year students and sophomores primarily, where, of mm -hmm. course, when you're at the four-year level, you've got juniors and seniors. So when you talk about the maturation of a student, um, it, it's a much different process because of the four-year experience. Um, so in saying all that, again, that's where I think there, there's, there needs to be a lot of focus on who are the coaches that are surrounding the student mm -hmm. athlete um, in the JUCO level, um, and you'll find at the Northamptons, at the Onondagas, that you have outstanding 
uh, coaches, and they pride themselves in developing the student athlete, not just on the court, but off the court. And again, pointing back to ac academic success, which is what we're all trying to do, whether it's at the D1, D2, D3 level, um, JUCO, four year. So. And the other thing, why the chance we have you here, um, again, in, in to kind of round things up on your main role here at the campus, right. though we love talking basketball, yes. talk a little bit about the USC. Uh, project that you have going on with the the diversity uh, uh, clinic institute that's going to happen here and and the kind of the you had mentioned us in a group setting one of only 10 schools I believe we are to be involved in this nationwide in this pilot program if you could talk a little bit yeah. about that no thank you Troy it's it's an amazing opportunity and, and one as we we talked a little bit earlier as well the intersection of athletics and diversity th there's so many different aspects to that um, so just to have this conversation along with what we've talked about is, is great. But, yes, uh, Northampton will be starting our experience with the University of Southern California's uh, Equity Institute in January, um, and it's a great opportunity to connect with nationally one of the most highly regarded uh, units that focuses on inclusion, diversity in higher education. Um, so this institute is going to allow members of the Northampton community to really dig deep into what can we do to be more intentional in our work in creating a more inclusive campus environment, looking at um, the way we recruit and retain students, the same with, with colleagues uh, on the faculty and staff side, and then how do we develop our curriculum to again support uh, an even more diverse student body and of course make sure that they're being successful um, here on campus and also when they leave to pursue their four-year degree, uh, their career pursuits and everything in between. Scott, thank you. We really appreciate you taking time to be part of Northampton 360 today. We wish you the best. Happy holidays if we don't get a chance to see you again here in the next couple thank you, weeks. Troy. Thanks. My pleasure.